Let me introduce you to Mithali and Priyanka. I'm the Mithali. Two, I'm Priyanka. Yeah. So these, uh, so these two are amazing trainers, and they're um, um, they're both based in Nagpur. Uh -huh. And um, of course, like you know, these are these both are trainers who have um, been like you know training for the last few years, and um, they're also like you know quite um, um, like let's say like you know, quite respected in their fields as well. That's a kind of a huge thing which they achieved in just like you know in just a very, very short period of time. Okay. And that's all because of uh, the kind of uh, the audience and everything like, you know, that they used to get and like, you know, the students and everybody who used to go and learn from them always used to give, I mean, they, you, their lives used to be changed after these people's trainings. Okay. So they're amazing uh, trainers and they're here, to, like, you know, especially to go ahead and speak with you and moderate the show. I'm obliged. Thank you so right. much. Oh, yeah. So thanks. Much. Much. Uh, Krishna, are you? Okay. Um, hello, good evening and a very warm welcome to you all. I, Mitali and Priyanka have come up with very new and refreshing uh, episode of Coffee with TS, an initiative of training such. And our today's guest is Mr. Krishnan Chandrasekharan. Well, hello everyone. It's uh, my immense pleasure to introduce our today's chief guest and speaker. Krishnan is a learning and development thought leader with over a decade of rich global experience in setting up, leading, and managing end-to-end -end learning and organizational development management. He travels across the globe to facilitate and deliver train-the-trainer program, leadership development program, and various other soft skill program for individual, corporates, and businesses. The trainers, coaches, and mentor he and the individual and corporate employees. He also trained small medium business owners to achieve higher performance, personal growth and wealth. Krishnan inspires his people and makes them agent of change. Krishnan constantly strives to change the lives of people through gratitude that most people tend to forget what a little bit of caring can do to inspire people around them. Krishnan has trained coach mentored over 2,50,000 people and continues to exponentially inspire others throughout his life. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Krishnan Chandrasekhar. Hello, sir. It's yeah. really a Hello. great pleasure to have you here with us. Thank you, um, Mithali and Priyanka. And uh, thank you so much, Paul, uh, and the rest of the training fraternity team for having me over I'm highly obliged, honored, and humbled. As uh, I have been reading through your profama, I uh, came to know that you have trained 2,50,000 people. That's a huge number. So, yes, it is. Yeah. So the first question which comes into my mind was, uh, as a trainer, or what you will make us uh, to become a successful trainer? OK. So uh, that's a, an amazing question. And uh, for the benefit of the entire training fraternity, uh, first of all, a warm welcome to all the audience out there. And uh, training uh, is a very noble profession and uh, a leader has to be a trainer and absolutely committed uh, in terms of uh, uh, you know, sacrificing his or her time, uh, ready to do more than anybody else and uh, more than anybody can actually think of. So uh, I have about four different uh, thought process that comes to my mind. Uh, you know, when you ask me uh, what uh, uh, are the things that an aspiring trainer uh, would uh, need to put together to be successful in this uh, uh, industry. So uh, this is one of the most oftenly asked questions, uh, question by several aspiring trainers and uh, experienced trainers as well, and not just uh, aspiring trainers or experienced trainers, uh, but several uh, training leaders also ask these questions. And I'm glad that I get this opportunity today uh, to share uh, the four key points that uh, I always considered and believed. Uh, so I was this uh, a person who grew up uh, believing failure uh, is bad. 
And uh, this belief actually prevented me from effectively achieving what I really wanted to uh, for a very long time. Uh, and uh, uh, success uh, was the sweetest when I could never achieve that success. However, at one point of time in uh, everyone's life, there comes a, a specific juncture uh, or a turning point. So that uh, uh, is when these four key points uh, struck uh, my mind and I started working towards it. So uh, without uh, you know, further delay, I want to share these key uh, uh, points that I want you all uh, aspiring trainers to keep in mind when you are trying to uh, build your profession as a training professional. And uh, it is very, very valid uh, in specifically today's uh, situation uh, at large. So uh, the first thing that I always recommend uh, or suggest is uh, self-training. And uh, I will come and talk a little more about this point in detail as we progress. So first thing is self-training. The second thing uh, that one needs to keep in mind is uh, giving back to your mentors or identifying your mentors and giving it back to the mentors that you would want to be associated with in developing yourself. The third thing is the, your community and the niche uh, in the market that you want to develop uh, as a whole. And the fourth thing, go after the market. I repeat, one, uh, invest in self-training or development. The second point is, uh, you know, uh, finding or identifying the right mentors to help you uh, develop yourself and learn, so people whom you can learn from. The third point is, uh, you know, building a community and a niche uh, for you. And the fourth point is go after the market. So when I talk about the first point, uh, self-training or self-development, uh, before you start training others, get trained yourself. I repeat, before you start training others, get trained yourself to acquire the business skills, uh, the, whether it's the sales and marketing, uh, whether it's the, uh, you know, the kind of uh, trainer uh, you want to become, you need to get trained. That's why I always insist on uh, building uh, your start uh, or the first foundation block that you have to lay is uh, enter into a great train the trainer program, right? So uh, the second aspect of this is putting uh, the sales uh, part of you uh, in uh, the forefront as you are not going to uh, do just training, uh, even though you have the passion in you anymore, but you are going to consider it as a business. So. Uh, the first point is the self-training. The second point is about identifying the right set of mentors. Now, when we talk about identifying the right set of mentors, uh, you know, we all have to start somewhere. Uh, you know, it's not like, you know, uh, you didn't uh, uh, start as someone enlightened or genius. Uh, you started with nothing, just like how I start. I started with nothing. So the secret to every successful person is never forget where they come from and identify uh, a, a set of mentors who can help you with those skills that are required. And at the same time, uh, also ensure that never forget where you came from and you ensure that you never go backwards and you ensure you always remain grateful and humble to those people who mentored you and keep doing what you love to do as you move forward in life. So set a goal, make a commitment to meet that goal, do the best you can, but never forget your roots. Never forget where you came from. After you have succeeded, look back and see if there are others who might be able to, uh, others who you may be able to uh, help achieve and accomplish success uh, with your help. So uh, the second point I wanted to raise is, identify that mentor in your uh, own uh, career path and progression. Now, the third is 
the community and the niche. So develop your training module to solve problems for a specific community, uh, for a specific problem uh, to alleviate uh, a specific set of pain areas that the uh, organization or the individual that you're trying to help uh, through. Uh, so for, uh, for instance, uh, a communication training module or a content uh, is uh, different for students. It's, uh, and it is very different uh, in terms of an employee who is in the early stages of his or her career. Uh, or for a young leader in a corporate or a senior management and uh, so on and so forth. So uh, build your community and the niche in the topic uh, of your interest. Last but not least, you have to go after the market. Now, don't wait for a good time to come to you. Don't wait for a uh, uh, messiah uh, to come uh, and put uh, you into the mainstream and say, here, take all the gold and then you can build your own uh, stuff. No, it does not happen that way. Be your own savior. Uh, be shameless and explore the market and keep taking the sessions in the initial stages. That's the only way to fine tune your training content and find your niche. So uh, this four aspects, if you're able to uh, track and uh, literally work on stage after stage, and continuously learn through it, experience it, and then uh, go back to your mentors and then get all the help, build yourself and build that credibility, visibility, and that sustainability, then you are uh, in for a lot of treat. Because what you will understand is that, remember uh, this one point that I want to raise here again, remember when you start, you need your audience more than they need you it will reverse over a period of time naturally. I repeat, remember when you start, when you start your audience, uh, you need them more than they need you. Wonderful, sir. Amazing. I feel honored and blessed to have you on our show. And I uh, completely say that everyone will be agree with me. There are so many takeaways from the only one, one question which I've asked you. There are so many takeaways from these things okay. like four points and uh, like self-training, giving back to your mentors, community development and all other things. So let's move on to the second question. It was a great answer. We were like we are fully charged i can say because uh, the way you have explained each and everything like it is it is something that we needed to uh, learn and uh, as we are new to this training and everything so like we are getting uh, that that motivation from you thank so, you uh, so um so krishna when i was going through your profile i got to know about the goal uh, which you have said for yourself that uh, the training uh, 100,000. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, that's a huge number. So uh, my question to you is what inspired you to have such a great dream? Okay. Uh, so like I started by saying, you know, uh, I grew up believing uh, at an early age, uh, at an early age that uh, failure is bad. And, uh, you know, this belief uh, actually... Uh, prevented me from achieving a lot of things that I wanted to achieve. And uh, so uh, I have gone through a lot of uh, phases in my career. Uh, I have been uh, in full-time job uh, and I've been, do I've been doing amazingly well. And uh, there's one point when I decided to step out of that comfort zone and then venture into the open market and set up my own uh, uh, and establish myself. So uh, at this juncture, I believe that uh, the people who I supported in my uh, uh, in uh, during my tenure within the uh, within the full time uh, employment that I did, uh, I will get some kind of support from those people. So with a lot of that confidence, I stepped out of my uh, regular job and I set my foot uh, into the. Uh, freelance uh, business world. Now, uh, when I stepped, I felt that I will have a lot of those people who I have behind me. Uh, the truth is that 
Uh, and what I experienced is that nobody was there uh, to even, uh, you know, uh, call and tell me that, yes, I will help you. I have been uh, making several phone calls, trying to see if I can get uh, projects uh, and survive in the industry. So uh, there were days when uh, I used to uh, have no projects. I used to have uh, no funds and financial source uh, to uh, even pay uh, my own rent uh, that uh, uh, I, I had to on a monthly basis. There were days when I used to, uh, I could only afford, uh, you know, one time meal and sometimes for months together, I used to be just on drinking water. And at one point, the water uh, itself was a challenge for me to procure uh, because I did not have funds for that too. So I have seen the good days, the bad days, the ugly days, or, or what you call as the four seasons in this. Uh, and then I, uh, you know, started, uh, uh, you know, I identified uh, a specific resource who helped me throughout this journey. And today I am associated with this person. Um, and it's been like uh, a cl close to uh, nine and a half years uh, in this stint. Uh, and uh, I'm a board member and a vice president uh, learning and development for a company called Learning Without Walls. Uh, so this organization and the, the CEO and the founder of this organization uh, was always there as a part of my uh, support in this nine and a half years of struggle. So if I, if I connect the dots backwards, uh, those days when I was struggling and I had nobody, this person was the only person. I'm not taking any names out uh, since this is a, a aired show. So I'm, I'm, I'm just pausing that name there uh, in the interest of a lot of things in mind. Uh, but then I'm proud to say that uh, she uh, is uh, the CEO and founder of this organization called Learning Without Walls. And uh, uh, this support that I received, uh, it was from a, an emotional standpoint of view or from a, a little bit of a financial standpoint of view at that point of time, uh, helped me realize that there are uh, so many trainers just like me out there in the market. Uh, one, not able to make their living, not able to uh, do a lot and give back to the community, not able to afford because of X, Y, Z reasons. And whether it's family, social, economical, uh, whatever, peer pressures, they are still unsung heroes out there uh, who really need this kind of help. So uh, this, uh, it took me six years uh, to put together uh, a lot of the training content uh, plans in place and finally, uh, when uh, everything fell in place, uh, I said, yes, this project of helping 100,000 trainers can now start. And then I said, I'm going to take that plunge and I dived deep into it. Today, we have covered in the last three months, we have covered close to 3,183 trainers and we are imparting free uh, train the trainer programs and uh, and it is virtually uh, enabled uh, instructor led programs and uh, it includes uh, it includes uh, the latest technology uh, it includes uh, uh, you know high level training content that cannot be easily sourced or even uh, looked at from a google search point of view so i have put together this entire plan and then uh, we launched it and then successfully rolled it out today to 3,123, 24 people. And, keeping, and it's counting on and on because everyone who's getting trained uh, voluntarily are also uh, you know, go, being a part of this vision and mission uh, and supporting uh, this uh, great cause. So uh, it is now just not my vision and mission. It is for uh, the larger trainers who have undergone these trainings. And I have an amazing team of those trainers uh, out there. Uh, as we speak, there are batches that are currently running, you know. Uh, and uh, we have been able to successfully complete about, uh, uh, you know, nine different batches and still carrying on with several other batches on uh, through Zoom, uh, the technology-enabled platform, 
uh, and uh, that's how this entire journey has started and we continue to uh, move these trainers from being ordinary to extraordinary uh, help them become independent uh, self-reliant and uh, as they progress in the journey uh, after they complete their train the trainer program they also become uh, eligible to be a part of the master trainers program and from then they get to set up an ecosystem that will help them self-sustain and become independent in terms of uh, building their clients building their online platform building their online presence visibility at the same time helping them become financially independent as well so uh, i do not want people uh, out there you, who are uh, you know waiting for some opportunity to come through to them instead i have gone out there to help those people and within my bandwidth i can currently support 100000 uh, uh, with uh, you know uh, a lot from what god has given at this point of time uh, i think uh, we will definitely be able to meet this uh, as we progress with the level at which we are increasing the pace so thank you so much Thank you so much, Krishnan. Such an amazing answer. And as they say, before you are a leader, success is all about growing yourself. But when you become a leader, success is all about growing others. Yes. A great vision you are having of letting yourself and others grow. Thank you. I must say that this will inspire a lot. For um, like, um, there will be so many trainers out there, and there are there are actually so many trainers and. Uh, the initiative which you have taken has helped a lot. Thank you so much for uh, for such an amazing answer. So now is the time for open forum for our in-house trainers so that they can ask their queries also. Yeah. Hi, Krishnan. Good evening. Yes. I would like to ask you one question that, you know, people struggle in their life a lot wherein they get so depressed and dull that they feel that, you know, the future is dark. What is one, one thing that, that you want to tell us that, you know, for that thing, you should be, uh, you should, you know, you should not look back and you should actually bounce back. Uh, Ruthika, the only thing that I had on my mind uh, at that point of time was never, ever give up right never ever give up and uh, i always believe that uh, these uh, you know uh, at, uh, what, what this entire phase of life has taught me is that uh, you can survive without food you can survive uh, you know uh, without uh, water uh, for uh, for a certain time you can uh, survive without people and friendship however uh, you cannot survive without your willpower there are a lot of people who will, uh, you know, uh, let me let me put it this way. Uh, people will hate, people will uh, shake you, people will break you, but it's you who will make you. Let me repeat. People will hate you, people will shake you, people will uh, uh, break you, but it's you who will make you. So... You have to find a way to get your message out there and by leveraging as much as you can. Uh, what, the only thing that uh, was there at my, uh, you know, with me was that willpower that uh, I have not failed. It's just that there's one more chance that I got or a reason that I got uh, to uh, identify that this one doesn't work. There is something else that would work. So, uh, that's when you know that uh, the bulb glue uh, or i can say just like how edison uh, invented the light bulb uh, 10000 attempts uh, or failures you can call it uh, in in our common terms uh, or unsuccessful attempts to bring that glow into that uh, uh, glass right so what we see today and you and i we are we are communicating uh, it's all got to do with that light bulb so this is something that uh, glue uh, uh, at that point of time for me. One has to reach within to pull out the energy and show it every day. Set up that benchmark that will be required uh, for the future. Uh, don't follow a set of old benchmarks. Uh, this would not help you survive when you are in a crisis. Even whether it is this uh, pandemic situation that we are in or whether... Uh, the kind of uh, uh, stage of life that I have gone through, 
I have raised my benchmark and I have uh, climbed over it and I have achieved this level of uh, confidence and willpower to overcome it. So the key part is that uh, if people beat you down, uh, don't forget to get back up and fight. Uh, tomorrow is another day or uh, the moment is another moment that you have to live it and live it when you live it, live strong, live and like, give a message to the people who said you can't do it, change it and tell them that you have done it. So this is something that I always share. Uh, Ritika, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, I would like to ask, uh, Miss, I have seen so many trainers are going through so many different certification programs nowadays. Mm -hmm. And I would like to ask your opinion uh, whether a trainer should stick to a particular area of expertise or get into multiple areas of expertise or uh, looking towards the current scenario. Okay. Uh, excellent question. Uh, that is something that, uh, you know, uh, today's situation has taught us, Anurag. Uh, well, the answer to that lies uh, within each one of us. Now, uh, my take on it is be as flexible, as adaptable, and as uh, agile as you can. The word is agile as you can, because when uh, it's like this, uh, you know, uh, how many of us have watched this movie called uh, Uri? At one point in your time, uh, you know, you will have a lot of planning that you have done. Today, this is my niche. I'm going to do this and then I will make my money. Uh, or I will make my uh, name, my visibility, my fame, and my audience will come towards me. Yes, uh, that is true to a certain extent. However, are you agile enough? Now, I'm going back to the uh, example of Uri that I mentioned, uh, the movie Uri. Uh, what happens here is uh, you uh, set out a plan uh, to uh, target and attack an opponent at a certain time, uh, and then you anticipate and you have done all your planning and you reach there and you identify that this plan is not going to work. Now, will you follow that same plan or will you change your plan? The answer is, it lies in the instinct of that person. Now, do I need to survive or do I need to choose death? Or do I need to go back home successfully or do I need to die a rotten death in some other place? So. I always will choose uh, to be agile at this point of time because if the market is changing, I cannot uh, uh, go with the same uh, you know, uh, biscuit all the time. I got to reinvent my biscuit. This time I make a new cookie and this time add some more flavor. So what I'm trying to say is if you did what you did, you will get what you got. If you did what you did, you will get what you got. So if you are agile, you will change your strategy then and there and work around it and come up with something different that nobody else can uh, afford to give you. So whether it is in front of an army, uh, you have to be all on your toes or whether it is front of your uh, training fraternity, you got to stand out from the rest of the crowd and be that one person who is sought after because you are different and your leaders don't do different things. They do things differently. And when you do do things differently, you see that uh, it may be the same train the trainer program, but what you're delivering, uh, when you see there is a big difference in the way the mindset is, the way the thought process is, the way the content is being handled, and you are able to showcase a completely different thing, you automatically stand out from the rest of the pack. And when you stand out from the rest of the pack, you have established yourself as an authority and you have moved into a different level. So my take is be agile and ensure that if uh, today everybody is asking for this, be ready to give them that. Tomorrow, if somebody is asking for why, be ready to give them why. And you have to learn, unlearn, skill, upskill, reskill, upgrade, up, uh, you know, uh, downskill, and then move on, learn, relearn, unlearn, learn, unlearn, relearn. This has to be a continuous learning process and a journey in our life. So I cannot go to the market with yesterday's technology if I have to survive. So if I go with a, a you know, a Desi uh, gun, uh, when everybody is using automatic rifles, I don't stand a chance to win. So I got to go back there with my own set of uh, equipments that will uh, either be 
above uh, that benchmark or at par with the benchmark and then with some amount of strategy and game plan, I go and win that war, uh, right? So maybe today you may have uh, lost that, uh, uh, you know, uh, that uh, specific uh, uh, exercise. However, tomorrow is another day. Are you ready to get up and fight and then win on the next day, right? So uh, day after tomorrow, uh, you know, again, uh, you may not win. Uh, the fourth day, you may not win. Fifth day, you, you may not win. But the question lies, are you ready to get up with the same enthusiasm, energy, zeal, zest in your own way and go and fight it another day? And trust me, on the sixth or the seventh day after failure, on the ninth day, you will see that automatically you are the only person standing to fight with the same energy, enthusiasm, and every ball that you hit is a six. And uh, with the luck of time and with the luck of that effort that you have put in, you will see that every stroke that you uh, reach out for, either it's the four or out of the boundary. And that's when the, uh, your skills meet the uh, factor of uh, true defining moments. And that's where you will start to see your success. Be agile. Every crisis has an opportunity. We have to be excited about what the future brings to us don't linger in the past as a trainer uh, we face many difficult situations while the training is going on mm -hmm. any difficult situations that you face and how did you handle that okay that's a very very uh, awesome question and uh, you are taking me back to my uh, you know uh, challenges uh, faced by uh, the trainers that's uh, something that is always uh, there now there are multiple challenges. Uh, every day is challenging. People are different. Uh, the thought process of the trainees and participants and the learners are different. So uh, I have faced uh, uh, challenges in terms of, uh, uh, you know, charges of being cultural, uh, uh, you know, culturally different. Uh, you know, uh, I have faced challenges while revisiting difficult topics or concepts. I have faced challenges where participants have been uh, in absolute silence. Uh, I have faced challenges where there were verbal attackers uh, during my session, one of my sessions. Uh, I have faced challenges where, uh, you know, somebody used to dominate the entire conversation and I was not able to do those things. Then there were challenges where I, there was inability of me uh, and the entire participants to reach a consensus. There were several disruptive audience. That was another challenge. Uh, there were several people who were engaging in side conversation, but then uh, as a, that was when I was an ordinary trainer, but after what I had set out to do and reach those, uh, uh, you know, uh, vision and mission that I have for, uh, set out for a hundred thousand trainers, uh, I started moving from being ordinary to extraordinary. And in the process, I have, uh, you know, uh, identified a way to handle uh, different kinds of learners in uh, whether it's a classroom, whether it's a virtual setting, I have learned to handle them uh, using a certain strategy. And that's a way, very simple strategy. Uh, it is to identify the three uh, different type of learners in any, uh, any situation, uh, whether it's a classroom situation, whether it is a, you know, um, let's say a uh, virtual situation, whether it's a coaching situation, you will have always have three different types of learners with you. Uh, the first set of learner uh, who will be a part of that is uh, mediocre people. Uh, you know, the second will be difficult people and the third will be brilliant set of people in your sessions. So uh, in that journey to move from ordinary to extraordinary, I have, uh, been able to categorize these people into these three uh, buckets and uh, then tap if it's a brilliant person i used to tap into the brilliant people's belief that efficiency versus uh, uh, you know effectiveness is as good as results 
So tapping into those uh, brilliant people's energy, enthusiasm, initiatives, drives, inspiration, and then I finally try to influence them through this way. So uh, engaging with difficult people in conversation can be challenging too, like I said. So I used to celebrate the accomplishment of those short-term goals, repeat uh, you know, the processes until the entire long-term goals have been achieved. I used to use constructive uh, uh, what we call that uh, confrontation to ensure that I resolve or even prevent conflicts from building uh, coalition or, or uh, yeah, coalitions. So uh, I used to be diplomatic as possible. I used to remain level-headed and strong. And uh, uh, I used to finally bring out the best in them. So, uh, like, so these are some of the things. Uh, if I have to share my experience, a day will never be enough. Uh, so I'm going to pause here. Uh, keeping the interest of time as well. Thank you so much, Tiffany, sir. You are motivating us and in a great way, actually. Thank and you. for uh, for all of us, it is very new to learn because, uh, see, there are so many people out there who are new to this training background. But this interview is going uh, to be available on on our Training Track YouTube channel. So I would like to request you all to put your queries in the comment section of the YouTube channel. And uh, we assure you that we will answer your queries. Now, let's move to the most awaited and exciting segment of the show. That is rapid fire round. Oh, okay. Yes. So, Krishnan, what comes to your mind when I say these words? And oh. your answer should be in one word only. Oh, okay. Challenging. Uh, shall we start? Yeah, please. Shoot. Okay. So, challenge. Excitement. Goal. Adventurous. Success. Sweetest. Okay. Trainer. Amazing. Extraordinary. And last but not the least, training fraternity. Brilliant. Thank you so much for your brilliant Fraternity. Answers. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, before, uh, you know, uh, I, I uh, let go. I have just one uh, thing that I want to share with the entire team. Uh, you know, uh, please keep this in mind all the time. If you don't inconvenience yourself, I repeat, if you don't inconvenience yourself, if you are sleepless uh, as to how you want to become better, uh, uh, then you are not challenging yourself. I repeat, if you don't inconvenience yourself, uh, if you are not sleepless and uh, if you are not uh, sleepless and if you are still trying to uh, uh, think that you have, uh, uh, you are already better, then you are not challenging yourself. So uh, the only thing that I want to share with all of us here is that uh, all change happens with a choice. I want you to rise up and make that choice today because it is in your moments uh, of making that decision, your destiny will actually be shaped. Uh, so uh, like I said, 100,000 trainers uh, is what the vision mission is. So uh, I would uh, request uh, the entire training fraternity uh, to please uh, join hands with our entire set of teams uh, and uh, be a part of this amazing, successful journey. Reach out to those 100,000 people uh, and then uh, let us engage, excel, evolve in becoming, uh, you know, making them extraordinary at whatever they do at the same time. So I want to take this big uh, moment to thank training fraternity, uh, Mithali, Priyanka, Paul, and the entire team, Anurag too, uh, behind this uh, uh, you know, seen uh, to, uh, you know, for giving me this amazing opportunity to share and uh, uh, my views, my thoughts a little bit uh, uh, to the rest of uh, uh, the folks out there who will listen, watch and uh, understand it. Sir, it's been great having you on the show. And well, the time has come to an end. Uh, this entertaining and delightful session, which we had, I, Priyanka, and with Mitali, on behalf of Training Pratt, thanking you, uh, Mr. Krishnan Chandrasekhar, for joining and interacting with us. 
and i would like to thank our participants and spectators who are there with us throughout the show for all their supports and contribution it will be there on our youtube channel please like share and subscribe and yes thank you everyone thank you thank you so much so all the best and thank you so much for this wonderful awesome and amazing opportunity priyanka mithali great job with you guys thank you